guys. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. My hair is all over the place. Hi, hello. Hello. Um, I hope you guys are having a great night. I hope you're doing well. I hope that uh, if you're watching this from the East Coast that you are not exhausted. Hello, Korean. Um, so, yeah. We're going to talk. What's up, Ryan? We are going to talk about something that, uh, something I get asked a lot, but also something I've realized, um, is going on with a lot of people. So we're going to talk about it. Hey, Ashley. You guys, I'm so excited. Guys, uh, my team's going crazy. What My team is going absolutely crazy, um, like the last week and a half. It's insane. It's insane, but I'm super, super pumped. So we're working so, so hard and I'm so proud of everybody. Um, and it's just really good. So I will wait like 60 seconds, 60 seconds. And then I'll start talking, even though I've been talking, but the point is, but what we're going to talk about tonight, um, or should I say what I want to talk about tonight is why, thank you. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Every time somebody says I love your lashes, that's like it's like immediate like what I want to do. I want to be like, thank you. Um, so, okay. So what I want to talk about tonight is um, signing up distributors, rolling distributors, signing up distributors, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. Um, hey, Seattle. I was in Seattle over the summer. Um, so I, uh, thank you, Corey. I, I wanted to talk about signing distributors. Okay. I'm guessing whether you are on my team or why, or whether you are on somebody else's team. Um, I guarantee you that if you haven't felt this way, then somebody in your downline has, if not your entire downline, um, people constantly want to know, you know, well, I could sign loyal customers. I have no problem signing customers, but I just can't sign distributors. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Lori. Um, so here's some stuff for you to consider. Okay. This is stuff that, that I've been doing since the day I started and I've always been a very high enroller. Um, so if you're having issues signing up distributors and getting teammates and this and that, then, uh, take some notes. I don't know, but either way, this is stuff that has always been natural for me. Um, and I realized that th these are the things that are very important to my success. Um, so I think that they could be helpful for other people. So, um, first things first, you have to be confident. You have got to be confident. Hey, Shannon, you have got to be confident. Um, I cannot stress that enough. First of all, the three key things, okay, if you're going to try and sign up distributors and, and be good at it, okay, the three key things that are so important that I focus on and I tell my team to focus on is confidence, excitement, and consistency. Those three things, okay, but confidence being the number one to start with while we're talking right now, the number one, okay, you guys, you have to give people a reason to want to join you on this journey. You have to give people a reason to want to join your team over somebody else's, right? If we were in a room, okay, and it was you, me, and a potential distributor standing in front of us, okay, who do you think they're going to pick? I know who they're going to pick because I'm confident. That, that's the difference. Not because I'm better than anybody. It's because I'm confident. I'm confident in what I have to bring to the table. I'm confident in what I have to offer. And the funny thing is, when I first started, right, I, I was like what Joel and Stephanie Dunn always say. I was literally, you know, idiot on fire, okay? I was not genius on ice. I had no idea what I was doing. I did not read any of the stuff. Like, I, I was typical red, okay? I don't bother reading. I just go and I do. Um, so, you know, I was idiot on fire. And I was doing amazing. And I could tell you right now, not once in my history of doing this business have I ever been asked how much money do you make what level are you at okay never been asked those two questions not even from the day that I started and it was because I came out the gate like I was an ambassador diamond 
I didn't even know. I didn't even know what an ambassador diamond was. It was the confidence and the energy that I was putting out there that that made, I have people on my team, my, sometimes people sign up and they're like, what do you do if somebody asks you, you know, how much, how much money you're making in this business if you just started, right? Like, you're not going to lie to anybody. So what do you say? Like, oh, I kind of just started. Like, I'm not making anything yet. You know, and I, I said, I've never been asked that. And the reason I've never been asked that is because people just assumed I was killing it. People assumed I was killing it because I never gave them any other reason not to think that. I never, never, not once let my, my confidence like slip nothing and you guys have to understand I'm shy okay I'm not I'm nowhere near as bad as I used to be um I am like a completely different person now or should I say maybe I'm me but just like on fire I don't know um yes Shannon if you are not confident then borrow somebody else's confidence until you have your own you guys you watch my videos okay you watch my YouTubes you message me borrow my confidence if you want to sign up distributors Borrow my confidence, you guys. Walk in there and say to yourself, I am Jessica Pearson with my crazy red hair today. I don't give a crap who signs or not, right? Like, that is literally the, the, the sense of confidence and the mindset that I had from day one. And I can't, I can't teach somebody how to become... It is very difficult to try and teach somebody... Hey, Russ. Uh, it is very difficult to try and teach somebody confidence. That is very hard to do. You want... People, you know, it's it's something that you either have it or you don't. You could work on it, but to teach it how to be confident, it's very difficult. So you have to fake it till you make it. And I didn't realize I was faking it. I had no idea, but I was just going into it and I was just doing this. And I was like, you know what? I'm excited. I'm having fun. I am like, I'm, I'm selling wraps. I'm making money. I don't know what I'm doing in my life right now, but I'm, I have results from these wraps. Like this is amazing. And so confidence you guys confidence is the number one thing okay and so excitement right excitement like you could be doing all the right things you could be saying all the right stuff you could be posting everything you could be literally doing everything perfectly but if you are doing it with no excitement who the hell is going to want to sign up with you right like think about it okay look at look at the people that that you signed up with okay and and I always tell my team, why did you sign up with me, right? I always ask them, why, my personally enrolled anyway, I always ask them, why did you sign up with me? What was the reason for that? Think about why you signed up with me and then think about why somebody would sign up with you. If you got nothing going on, you need to get something going on. Do you know what I mean? Like something has to change if that's not already there, okay? so. And then I'm told, you know, I signed up with you because you're exciting and you're fun and you're this and you're that. Okay, that's cool. I realize that not everybody's going to be like that, right? You don't have to be, and I say this all the time, you don't have to be crazy wild redhead. You know, you don't have to be that way. You could be you, right? Because this is me. This is, always, this is me. You could be you, but still add excitement into what you say, into what you do, into what you post. That's the difference, which is why I also I'm so against copying and pasting because where's the excitement? There's no, your, your energy isn't there, right? You have to put your energy into everything that you're doing. You have to be relatable. You have to be um, somebody, again, that people want to sign up with. And here's the thing with the confidence, okay? If you are not, because a lot, here's the problem. A lot of times people will say, well, I can't, you know, I can't do, I can't, I can't sign up uh, uh, distributors. Like, what's wrong? Why am I not signing up distributors? I'm like, well, first of all, it's because you're saying to yourself, I can't sign up distributors. That's number one. So if, if you're saying to yourself, I can't sign up to distributors and I don't, and you don't have the confidence in yourself to sign up distributors, what in the hell do you think would make anybody else have the confidence to sign up with you if you don't have the confidence in yourself? Why would you think anybody would sign up with you if you're not confident in yourself? Like, it just, it's, it's not going to happen, right? Like, I would never go, go and, and look at something, at this type of opportunity and say to myself, okay, I have three people I'm potentially going to sign up with. I like her. I like her. I like her for all different reasons, okay? She's really exciting. She seems fun. She seems really smart. She knows what she's doing. Well, I don't know about this one. She seems really nice. She's really nice, right? Like, does nice make millionaires? I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. Nice? You have to be nice. But if you're that nice and that's it, like, you have to 
you have to be confident. Like if I'm looking at that person and saying, well, I asked her some questions and like, uh, I know she's new and everything and that's fine. I know she's new and everything, but like, she seemed like so scared and she seemed like, you know, so, so I don't, uh, I got to talk to somebody. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, I don't want to sign up with you. Right. Because then I'm not going to know what I'm doing because I, I want to be, you know, at least have some guidance. Do you see what I'm saying? So you have to be confident in yourself before you can sign up people. You have to have that happening inside your body. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. So if you are also, and I say this a lot, if you are reaching out to people and you're talking to people and you're talking to potentials, for example, and you are saying to them, you know, they're, maybe they're asking you, what is this business all about, right? Like, what is this? And that's, everybody always asks me, I, I talk to so many people and nobody ever wants to sign up with me. Well, why? What are you doing? What are you doing wrong? I don't know. I tell them, and I'm like, whoa, that's why. That's why, because you didn't shut your mouth. Like, you, you word vomited it all over the place. And I get it because every single distributor in this entire company, myself included, has done the word vomit. Why? Because at one point we are, we are in a position where we want so many distributors to sign up. We want, like, we see promotions going on. We see boxes that need to be filled. But you have to remember, people are people. They are not boxes needing to be filled. You have to remember that, okay? So when you go into a conversation with somebody and you're looking at that conversation and all you keep thinking about is, I need these two boxes filled. I need these two boxes filled. And then you forget what the hell you're talking about with people because all you're focused on is signing those people. You don't have to say I'm desperate for that person on the other end to say, damn, she's desperate. I don't want to be a part of this. It comes through. It comes through like screaming, you guys, because that's that's the energy. That's what happens with energy. So but when you go into it saying to yourself, you know what? I, I don't need this. I don't need you to sign up with me as much as you need to sign up and change your life with this business. That's the difference. That's the difference. When you are needy, you, you're coming from a place of lack. And when you're coming from a place of lack, you screw up everything, okay? Let's just put it out there. There's, that's not a good look. So what you want to do is realize who you're talking to and realize how this business is going to change their life and stop worrying about yourself, okay? If you are trying to get to a certain promotion, stop thinking about that when you're talking to somebody who is in a place of of desperation themselves they want to change their life they want to do this they want to do that and all you're focused on is i gotta get to ruby i gotta get to diamond i need to sign this person up whatever yeah 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 you're great great like your story is great that's great stop stop i know that happens i know that happens and that's not saying that's not to say that you're a bad person nobody's a bad person unless they genuinely mean that but you have to look at who you're talking to and you have to realize that you need to take yourself out of the situation of need. You have to pull yourself out of, of needing that distributor. You don't need anybody. You do not need to sign 10 distributors this month. You might want to, but you don't need to. What, what, what really needs to happen is that 10 people need this business. Not you need 10 people to sign up. 10 people need this business. And when you get into that mindset and get out of the mindset of I need you more than you need me, like then you'll start signing distributors because you're going into it totally differently and your energy is completely different. So again, confidence, okay? Excitement and consistency, you guys. Consistency. Like I said before, you could do everything right. You could do everything right, say all the right stuff. You could have the confidence, the excitement, everything. But if you do that for a week and then you stop, but the business didn't work for me. Really? Come on. You didn't work for the business. Plain and simple. The business works, okay? And it works for you. Works for everybody. But you need to work for the business if you want to be successful. You cannot blame anybody but yourself. So when, when I say about being consistent, if you're trying to get distributors, okay, if you are, cause let's be honest. All right. Like let's, let's not even like beat around the bush. Okay. Like everybody wants to move up in rank, right? Everybody wants to move up in rank. Everybody wants to do this. Everybody wants to do that. There is nothing wrong with that. That is the business that we are in. Okay. The higher in the rank, the more money, blah, blah, blah. 
Although that's not 100% true because you can be making more than people above you, but that's another video. So either way, right, we all want to do something in this business and we all have goals within this business, but you have to remember that there are real people out there, not boxes on a chart, not boxes on a chart. They are human beings, just like you and me. They are not empty boxes on a ruby or diamond chart. They are not. And the second that you realize that those people need you more than you need them to fill a box, that's when you'll sign up distributors like you can't even imagine. Because it's your energy, your confidence, your excitement, and your mindset. Your mindset has to be different. Your mindset has to be different. Otherwise, it's not going to work out. So when you come to me, and this goes for my team, who I love to death, um, and for others, because I have plenty of people that are not on my team that come to me and they say to me, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I need to sign distributors. First of all, you don't need. Stop. Stop with the need. Second of all, when you tell me I'm not signing distributors, I can't. I have issues with signing distributors. Do you realize that everything that you say, everything you say comes to light? Everything. If you think that you are having issues signing distributors, then you are going to have nothing but issues signing distributors. Period. Do you know that last night, I'm, I'm huge into the law of attraction, huge. Um, last night, was it last night or this morning? No, it was this morning. This morning I was talking to Dan about, um, about going ambassador and presidential and things like that. And for the first time, okay, for the first time in my life, I'm in the middle of the conversation with him and it was going like so, it was just like, like boom, boom, boom. This conversation was amazing that I was having with my husband. And I was talking about going presidential, going ambassador, all these things. And in the middle of my conversation, I'm saying, Dan, but honestly, if I do this, this, and this, going presidential is easy. Going ambassador is easy. And I'm saying this out loud and he's looking at me, but I genuinely felt it and I believed it. I fully believed it for the first time in my life. Like, cause normally I'm like, are you serious? No, it's not easy. And no, it's not easy in the technical sense. Okay. It's not, there's a lot of work. There is a lot of work when you get done. There is a lot of work involved, but to get there, when you're looking at charts and you're looking at when I know there's a lot of triples that print out, okay, the big ass presidential chart. We have it. I have it blown up on my wall from Staples and it's laminated so I can wipe off names and wipe off numbers and all these things, right? And it's massive. And you look at that and you're like, holy shit, like really? How? And you just look at these boxes and you're like, maybe next year. And you just kind of just walk away, right? Like, okay, I've been there. I've been there because it, it, charting's not fun. But, but for the first time ever, I looked at it and I was like, this is not difficult. What am I doing? This is not hard. And when you look at your charts, no matter what level you're at right now, you could be a distributor wanting to get to Ruby. You can be a Ruby wanting to get to Diamond, okay? You could be, you could be an ambassador trying to get Black Diamond, whatever it might be. If you're looking at the charts and you're looking at those boxes and, and those empty spaces and you're like, oh my God, this is so hard, this is so hard. All it's going to be is so hard, so hard. That's all it's gonna be. It's not gonna be easy. And it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be, you know, just a walk in the park. It's not gonna be any of that unless you think it is. Unless you think it is. Because if you genuinely feel it, like I can't tell you guys the shift in energy that comes with when you change your mindset the shift in energy that comes with that and then the actions that follow because everything starts in your mind, okay? It's not actions and then, and then things happen. It's things happen in your head and then action. That is how things work. So when you go and you think in your head like, what am I doing? Like, this, is, this shit's easy. Like, I could be presidential next month. What am I talking about? Like, why am I freaking out? I'll be presidential next month and then, okay, I got this, I'll do that. This is gonna be easy. Dan, I got this. This is literally my, my conversation this morning. When you put that in your head, and I genuinely felt it. There's a difference between saying stuff and then saying stuff and believing it. Because I've said stuff a lot. But when you say stuff and you believe it, that's totally different. That's when, if you want to talk law of attraction, that's when stuff happens. You have to put energy behind your thoughts, and then you watch shit happen. And I promise you, shit will happen. So, moral of the story, as always, moral of the story is that there's confidence, you have to have it. You have to have it, you cannot sign anybody, okay? If you are not confident in, confident in yourself, 
you are damn sure not going to sign anybody on your team because they're going to pick up on that. So then I'll have this question. But Jessica, well, what if I'm not, what if I'm just a distributor and I have, you know, where am I pulling this confidence from? Where am I, you know, I, I fake it till you make it, blah, blah, blah. Right. I get it. Okay. I absolutely get it. But it's because you're looking at yourself that way. You're looking at yourself as only a distributor. Stop it. Just stop. You may have signed up yesterday. Frig it. Look at yourself as a damn ambassador, right? Because when you look at yourself at a level that you are not at, your actions follow. Your actions have to follow. That is the law of attraction. That is the rule. That is what happens. So when you look at yourself as a higher level, you can be damn sure you are going to get to that level and fast. And nobody's going to ask you what level you are at. If they do, your energy is off, period. Your energy is off. And that's okay. You could shift it. It literally takes two seconds to shift your energy. So all you need to do is borrow the confidence from somebody else. Shannon made a perfect point before. Borrow it. If you do not have the confidence right now, borrow it from somebody else until you do. Okay? Borrow my confidence. Just don't, don't, don't drain me of my energy. Just borrow my confidence. And if, if, if I'm the confident person that you want. Otherwise, find a leader. Find a leader who you love and literally emulate. Emulate what they are doing. Follow them. And, and pull from their confidence and their energy and their excitement. And I promise you, you guys, like, you cannot be a ruby, okay, trying to get to diamond and still doing the things that got you to ruby. You can't do it. You cannot be a diamond trying to get to triple and still doing the things that got you to diamond. That's never going to work. You have to triple your efforts. You have to think in your head, okay, I'm no longer a diamond. I am now a triple. Now your actions follow. When you wake up every day as though you are a black diamond, guess what's going to happen as long as you are consistent? And that's the third one. That's what I always talk about. Confidence, excitement, and consistency. Because the first two will never happen unless the third one is there. So you have to be consistent. You have to wake up every day, okay, as though you are an ambassador, as though you are a diamond or whatever level you want to be at, wake up every day as, that, as you are that rank. Because here's the thing as well. If you were making, right, if you were making $10,000 checks a month, would you be asking me or your upline or yourself or your sideline sister who, or whoever else? Or would you be talking to them and saying like, I don't know, like, how do I seal the deal with these people? How do I, I don't know what to do, right? No, because you are making $10,000 a month paychecks. So none of that matters because you know what you're doing. So you need to get up every day. And even if you are not making $10,000 paychecks, you need to act as though you are. That doesn't mean going online and saying, I'm making $10,000, I'm a triple diamond, I'm this, I'm that, when you're like not even close to that. Do not lie, please don't lie. I've seen people do that. Don't do it. It's a really bad look. Um, but you need to wake up and act as if, period. You need to act as if. You need to be in the mind of whatever rank you want to be. You want to be a diamond? Okay. Diamonds don't get up in the morning and lay in bed for, for God only knows how long. And maybe, maybe make a post later on. And then maybe, possibly, like, follow up with a couple of people. Diamonds don't do that. Diamonds don't do that. Maybe some do. I don't know. But I know for sure that the good paying diamonds do not do that. Okay? Triple diamonds don't do that either. Neither do ambassadors, presidentials, black diamonds, whoever. They do not do that. So you need to wake up every day and have it in your head that I am blank. Whatever your rank is, I am blank. You know what else I do? I wake up every day and in my head and also written down, I write everything down. I wake up every day and I say, today I'm going to sign four distributors. When I have that right in front of me and when I wake up and I say, today I have signed, I signed, today I signed, there's a difference. I wake up in the morning and I say, I signed four distributors because that automatically puts me in a position of feeling as though it already happened, right? So if I'm feeling as though it already happened, I have to do the actions to make that occur. I have to do the actions to make that actually happen. So when I wake up and I say I'm signing four distributors today, you can bet your damn ass I'm signing four distributors every single time. 
it's almost like a game. I play this game with myself all the time, you guys. I feel like I have, like, magic powers. I'm not even joking. I will wake up and I will write down the number for the day. I'm going to have, I don't know, six LCs, maybe two DT, maybe two DTs. If I don't feel like working that hard, right? Like, this, I'm telling you, you guys, this is what I do. Six LCs, two DTs, and I will write it down. And I kid you not, I write it every day. On the, here's, here's one, okay? Look right up there. Four loyals. 2DTs right up there, okay? Every day on this notepad, I will start a new one and I will write down, and then I'll write down my to-do list on what I'm going to get done for the day. Every single thing that I plan to do. That doesn't always have to do with work either. It could be everything. So that's what I do. And you know what happens? It all happens. <laughs> that's what I do because I make it happen. Remember what I said. It starts with your mindset first. You have to think it, write it down, and then make it happen. Like, it's not just gonna, you're not just gonna say, I'm gonna sit, get six distributors today. And then you're gonna sit and you're gonna watch Netflix all day. It doesn't work like that. It is not a genie in a bottle. It does not work like that. You have to put the work in. But, but you set yourself up for way, way better odds if you wake up with that mindset, you write it down, and you get yourself to work with the tips that I just gave you about being confident, being excited, and then being consistent. Because again, like I said, if you're doing everything right and everything is perfect and you're doing this all the time and like a week goes by, that's not long enough. That is not long enough. So really quickly, because I have a few minutes. Wow. Guys, I wanted it to be exactly 30 minutes and I actually, I actually finish in under two. I'm so proud of myself. Um, do you guys have any questions at all? I don't normally do that, but... I feel like this, this video was, was something like that. So if you have any questions, I have a couple minutes and we could talk about how I still didn't get my, my nail fixed. I'm so upset. You guys look how short. so upset. I need it fixed. You know what? I haven't had a second to get it fixed because I've been too busy working my business. That's why not watching Netflix, not playing candy crush, not do whatever the hell else people do and then make excuses. Uh, how often do I follow up? Whenever my gut tells me to. I do not believe in follow up Friday. And I know there's going to be tons of leaders that disagree with me on that. And that's fine. <coughs> for, excuse me. For me, I believe in following up when my heart tells me to. I do not like to wait for certain days because it's too, it's too scheduled and planned out. Like, and again, I know there's going to be many people that don't agree with me. But I work better on my gut feelings. And I feel... Like if somebody pops in my head that I talked to like two days before, I'm going to message them. I'm going to message them. If I feel led to message them, I'm going to message them. Even though it was two days ago and it's not Friday yet, I'm going to message them. I don't care if it's Wednesday, Thursday, whatever the hell day. I'm going to message them. I'm going to say, girl, listen, we were just, I was like, I know we were just talking, but you really like, I, I just, you have to sign up. That's it. You have to sign up. I have to help you change the situation you told me you wanted to get out of. And I keep, you keep popping in my damn head. And this has happened to me. People have popped in my head and I will reach out to them and say that. Like, I will be completely honest with them. This is, this is my thing. I don't use scripts. I don't copy and paste. I don't do anything but be me. And I'm honest, a hundred percent honest. I told somebody today, do not bother joining. Do not bother joining. That right there is a personality of, I don't need you. Like, you might need this business, but I could already tell you're not going to do this business, so you're going to waste your money, you're going to waste your time, and you're going to waste my time, so I don't want to deal with that. And I will tell somebody that. I am not out there to sign up the world just because I want to fill boxes. That's not happening. I want to sign up people that are quality people that genuinely want this opportunity in their lives, and that's the difference. And that's, if, people got, if more people got into that mindset, they would be mass enrollers. I could guarantee you they would be mass enrollers. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if anybody else has any questions, but I, I'm about to, uh, one other question. I will answer one other question and then I will, what are my tips on voice messaging? Um, ugh, be yourself, be yourself. Do not read from anything. Literally talk to your friends. I mean, talk to people like they're your best friend. I could, I could guarantee you, and there will be people on this thing that I have never spoken to or met personally, but I have probably messaged a lot of you and done voice messages, and I can 
probably bet my entire life savings that you would agree with me that when I messaged you back or I replied to you or whatever, it sounded as though we were best friends because that's what I do. That's what I do. I feel like there's no, there's no other way of doing voice messaging. If you're going to do it and you're going to be personal, then you can't, you can't be both. You can't be personal using voice messages and then reading off a script. That just doesn't work. You have to be you. You have to literally just talk. Like I had a distributor tonight say, what do you, how do you reply to somebody when they say, okay, so what is it that you do? Like, you know, what would be, what would it be that I'm doing if I sign up and blah, 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 like all these things. And you know, people have a ton of questions, right? You know how I answer them? Girl, what I do is freaking amazing. That's what I do. I go on Facebook. I post. I use the products. I tell people about it. You know how you, you could use Facebook, right? Yeah. You have a phone? Yeah. You got some friends? Yeah. Okay. You could do this job. It's not that difficult. That's how I talk to people. That is legitimately how I talk to people every single day, whether I don't know them from a hole in the wall or they are my best friend. I, I will never change. I won't change that. So it, as far as voice messages go, I strongly suggest that people use them every second of their lives, um, especially if you're doing things on social media because face-to-face -face is the most personal thing ever. But if you cannot be face-to-face, -face, then you need to be on, on voice message. I have done voice message from the second that it came out as a feature and I refuse to not use it. Refuse to. I've had people thank me. I have had people thank me and appreciate it. And I'm sure people that have used voice messages can also agree that you've probably got the same thing. It's not common. It's not common. So, you know, especially here's the thing. Okay. You want to sign up distributors? I'm going to give you a big tip right now. When you are getting a potential person, right? Okay, whether you reach out to them or they reach out to you, I can assure you that 99.9% .9 of the time they have already been approached by other distributors. If you talk to them and you use a voice message and the prior distributors use nothing but scripts, okay, and it's written down in a text and all of a sudden you come out with, oh my God, hey, listen, do you have five minutes? We could talk. I could tell you about this business. Um, I would love to know your story, kind of like what got you into this, whatever. Who do you think they're going to sign up with? They're going to sign up with me, right? Not because I'm, I'm Jessica Pearson, not because I have wild hair, not because of any other reason, but the fact that I knew how to talk to somebody and I knew that I had to be personal. But that's me though. So if you want to sign up distributors, okay, you have to remember that you will more than likely not be the first distributor that people talk to, right? I'm probably taking a lot of potentials away from myself by giving you guys these tips, but either way, you're probably not the first distributor they've talked to. They've probably been approached numerous times with the same script, but you'll never know that unless you ask them, okay? But when you talk to them and it's through voice message, how refreshing is that? How refreshing is that? Like... Emojis are great, whatever, we use them all the time. I use them, like, till, my, till I'm blue in the face. But voice messages, though, you guys, like, that's personal. Who voice messages? Friends and family. That's who you voice message. That's who you FaceTime with, friends and family. When you do that with a potential uh, distributor, customer, we're talking about distributors tonight, so potential distributor who you don't know from a hole in the wall, and you all, all of a sudden do that with them, do you think that they think you're a salesperson? No, and they shouldn't be because you shouldn't be acting like that. Um, but what do they think? They think that, oh, she's cool as hell. I want to, to sign up with her just so I can be friends with her. That's all I do. That is all I do. And you know what? I end up becoming friends with my distributors just like that because the right people will find you. The right people will find you. And another thing as well, if there is somebody that is sticking out in your head and you cannot stop thinking about them and you have maybe your friend April, okay? April would be amazing at this business and you, she knows what you do. You've never really, really asked her, you know, hey, listen, would you actually be interested in doing this with me? Like, would you want to do it with me? Because I think you'd be awesome. You've never really had that conversation with her or maybe you have and it wasn't as like detailed. If she keeps popping in your head, she needs to be on your team. There is a reason she keeps popping in your head. You need to listen to your gut more because when you listen to your gut more, okay, that's going to bring you success. Your gut is telling you whether you believe in that stuff or not. Okay. Your gut is telling you this person, okay, would either be an incredible enroller, incredible teammate, an incredible leader, 
all three, whatever the case may be, this person that I know named April would be incredible at this business. You need to tell her. And you need to tell her not, hey, have you ever thought of making an extra $500 a month? Like, that's, would you say that to a best friend? Like, would you say like, hey, you know, what, have you ever thought of a second income? Come on, you guys. Come on. I'm, I'm being straight up real with you. I'm always real. And, and I'm risking a lot of flack that I'm going to get for this video from, from other leaders. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, we can all agree that sounding like a robot is not a good look. So please stop. Um, do I sign more people from voice messages or do you ever get them on the phone calls? I, I actually like getting people on phone calls, but I just never have, it just never works out that way. Like they just end up signing up. Um, so also because I'm, I'm literally so busy with voice messages. So I do enjoy doing the voice, uh, the phone calls. And in the past I used to like to do them more, but now with voice messages, I think that it's become, um, it's become just better with voice messages for me. For some people on my team, they like to get people on the phone and they sign people like that because it's a, it's a phone call, you know, like it's, it's that personal thing. But, um, with voice messages, I think that immediately they're not being pressured into, Hey, let me get you on a call. Cause there's a lot of time. There's people that are busy. There's people that are, um, exactly more time convenient because there's, there's people that have like 10 kids running around and like the last thing that they want to be doing is getting on a phone call. I get it that I understand fine. Um, so voice messages, they're not pressured into replying right away. Like you're on a phone call with somebody. Like if you ask them a question, they can't answer you 10 minutes later. They're on the phone. Like they're on the phone. They have to answer you. Some people don't like that. So I figure voice messages are a very good balance between texting, writing out stuff, or phone calls. I think voice messages are like the perfect little medium right there. Somebody just said, I know you don't necessarily like cold messaging, but how long do you take until you actually reach out to them? Honestly, like I said, it's, it's, I go with my gut. I would literally like reach out the same day sometimes, or I don't at all, and they reach out to me. And I know nobody ever believes me when I say this, and I know it's not the norm, but I got myself to triple without reaching out to a single person. I will say that till the day I die. That is exactly what happened. I did not reach out to a single person, and I got myself to triple because, because I didn't reach out to a single person. I feel like they were hounded and hounded and hounded with the same damn script over and over and over, and they see me just rocking it on Facebook, just ignoring them, because what did we do in high school, right? Who did we want the most? The people that didn't want us. We wanted them the most. That guy, that girl that didn't pay us any, any attention whatsoever. Who were we thinking about nonstop? That guy or that girl. So you have to also think about that's what business is. That's exactly what business is. So do you want to be the one that's like the, the, the little, the little Steve Urkel that's like, hello, hi, I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Hello. 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 Like, no, no, you don't want to do that because you push people away. You push people away. That's why I always say cold messaging is great. It's great. If you want to talk to 500 people a day, I don't have time for that. I don't know anybody that has time for that. I don't know how people that do it do make the time, but I don't want to do that. So I prefer for me uh, to not do that. So I don't reach out to people unless I am genuinely felt, you know, led to reach out to them. If I, if I, if I do that, but I could tell you, I've, I'm literally, you guys, like I have gotten to triple diamond without not reaching out to a single person. Now that's not going to work for everybody. There's got to be a whole bunch of other factors involved. Okay. But the point is it's not necessary to be harassing people and hounding them and, and things like that. It's just, it's not good. It's not good. Um, all right, you guys, uh, voice memos on Instagram is not possible though, right? Uh, videos are, if you send on Instagram, you can send in a DM, a video reply. There you go. Um, so yeah, so I do that. If ever I'm on Instagram, I'm not usually on it as much anymore. So anyway, I will, uh, get back to you guys, um, in your comments and all that stuff. And I probably, do I have people from Instagram message me on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just tell them, Hey, listen, I don't usually use Instagram a lot. Um, what's your Facebook? Let me add you really quick. Or here's mine. Uh, let's talk on there. It's a lot easier for me because then I could use voice messages. I genuinely tell people then I could use voice messages so I don't have to type out novels. I say this to people. This is what I say. So when you're, the thing is just be honest, just be honest with people. 
Tell them. Just same like talking to your friend April who you really want to do this business. Don't think about all of the facts that you have to tell her. Screw that. You don't need facts. She's your friend. You don't need facts. Just tell her, look, I think you're hot. I think you're smart. I think you're sweet. You're fun. You're caring. You're, you love to do stuff like, like spontaneously. You love to just like be, you have so many friends. We have the same friends. I think you would be phenomenal at this. Like I'm telling you, you are missing out. You need to do this with me. Like, what do you think? Like, will you do it? Let's go. Will you do it? You don't have to worry about. So if you turn, if you go Ruby, you're going to make blah, 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 blah. If you get this many DTs, nobody cares. Nobody cares about that because it's too overwhelming. You just have to be you. You have to be honest. And you always, always have to be excited. Because if you're not excited, why in the world would anybody want to sign with you? You don't look like you're having fun, right? And if you're not having fun, then you need to do something differently to have fun. Because this business is freaking amazing. It is amazing. It's fun. It's life-changing. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. So... All right, I'm going to go Ooh, 12 minutes after. I will answer any other questions that I did not get to see. I will make sure to answer um, after I get off this and after I turn off this bright-ass light in my face because I'm getting a little blind. Um, and I'm going to go chill out in bed now with my dog and my husband, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer you guys back. So thank you guys for hopping on. Um, and uh, I'm going to put this on my, my YouTube as well. So if you are watching this from YouTube right now, um, hi, hello. Thank you for, uh, for subscribing, like, all that good stuff. No, don't do these likes. Do this likes. And, uh, and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Have a good night, you guys. Goodbye.